Open social has been awesome for that. Okay, right? so the te technical, technically speaking, it's awesome. But I mean, again, I, I hear that uh, mm -hmm. from quite a few developers right, right, right. that each uh, on each network, uh, what kind of application will actually take off? That often depends on you know how you, you do it, right? How you make right. it really work for that particular social network. So an example is like if you want to compare, you can definitely, for instance, like there's people who've written kind of wrappers of open social around Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, that type of stuff doesn't work nearly as well because you don't have access to all the functionality. Right. You basically have you want the social network to entirely embrace open social because mm -hmm. that way, and, and, and the application itself needs to actually utilize open social for that specific social network because um, the way that we, even even the same application that we have implemented on uh, High Five compared to MySpace, it's actually fun, very different. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, there's like, it basically goes down different code structure based on kind of what social network you're on because the viral channels are very different. Right. An example would be um, MySpace, is the, there's the home surface. Mm -hmm. um, that's actually been fairly useful for us um, and so, like programming that that aspect of it, as well as kind of like um, leveraging the viral channels, where MySpace basically requires opt-in for every type of type of uh, request and comment that's actually sent out. But the the code base for that is actually fairly different, different. and that's really kind of like the big stuff that Raymond on the framework side has worked on, and he'll talk about it more when we actually go into kind of like the more technical aspects of it. I see. In general, basically, open source has really opened the gates for platforms on social networks and made implementation a lot easier. Right. But the cool part about what Open Social has actually done for us is that all of the social networks really were excited about a concept of a platform. Uh -huh. But a platform is actually technically very hard to build. Um, not just from a scaling perspective, but even coming up with kind of like the basic hooks of what the API call is going to look like, what's the structure. Especially, it's especially daunting for uh, a social network because of security reasons. Mm -hmm. right? You want to make sure that every all the little that have actually been kind of like taken out of it, so it's actually a very important thing. And open social just kind of came along and gave everybody a very simple way to actually go ahead and implement um, third-party applications on a platform. Right. And so because of that, I, you know, my, my firm belief is that you know all the social networks probably would have gone to platforms eventually, but open social probably put it in a year at least. Okay. And so that's definitely been a huge benefit for a company like ours, which is entirely about building applications mm -hmm. on platforms. Okay.